morning, scientists. This week, we're gonna do something extra special for science. We are going to be doing some experiments with pumpkins. Now, we have brought in three pumpkins here to our classroom, but if you wanna do these experiments at home and you have your own pumpkin, please do them with the investigations and the experiments with your pumpkins at home. Let me introduce you to the pumpkins that we brought in. This little baby one, his name is Spider-Man. And then over here, we have another one, just a little bit bigger. This is Iron Man. And then we've got our big guy right here. This is the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. You're going to have a pumpkin investigation report just like this. And throughout this week, we're gonna be filling out different parts of this investigation report. The very first one says, this is what my pumpkin looks like. So if you have a pumpkin at home, you're gonna to wanna to draw a picture of what your pumpkin looks like, or pick to draw Spider-Man, Iron Man, or the Hulk. And if you needed to draw them during this video, you can just go ahead and pause it and take your time to draw it nicely. The next part of the report talks about the size. So you need to color which pumpkin matches your pumpkin. Is your pumpkin big, medium, or small? If we were coloring ours, the Hulk would definitely be large. Spider-Man <coughs> would be small. Excuse me. Bless you, Mrs. Belter. Thank you. And Iron Man might even be small too, but if you had to compare them to the other pumpkins we have, he's more medium. But I think he's I agree. A small one. The next part of the pumpkin report shows our pumpkin has blank lines. This is where we're going to have to find a way to count the lines of the pumpkin. We went ahead and did that for Spider-Man and Iron Man. And I wanted just to kind of show you a little trick that I used that you can use. If you take a marker or even a crayon and you find one of the, the lines and go ahead and mark it, that's where you know where you started counting. So if I start there, one, two, and make my way all the way around. So I did this with Iron Man and Iron Man had 18 lines. Are you talking about like the little right, those creases little that go all the way around? Right, those little there. The Hulk had 34. And another trick that I do is after I count, I write it on the top so I don't forget. But together, let's count and find out how many Spider-Man has. So I went ahead and I put that line so I know where to start counting. And now I can count. I can even use, kind of use your fingernail to go in and count as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, because that's where I started. So Spider-Man has 21 lines, if you're using Spider-Man. It's so interesting because Spider-Man is our smallest pumpkin and he has more lines than Iron Man, he's a little bit bigger. So if you're choosing one of our pumpkins, you're gonna put that number right there on that line, or if you're using yours, you need to count the lines on your pumpkin. We'll be working on the rest of this sheet throughout this week. All right, I hope you have fun doing this. Bye guys.